Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So today's video is actually the second video in a new series that I'm doing on healthy meal prep. So if you missed the first video, I shared five make ahead healthy breakfast recipes and I'll go ahead and link that playlist for y'all below. But today I'm gonna be sharing five make ahead lunch recipes. Prepping your lunch in advance can make the biggest difference when it comes to how fast you reach your health and weight loss goals this year, and it can make the biggest difference in just how you feel for the rest of the day. You know, you don't wanna be tired and sluggish, you wanna be energized. And so prepping your lunch in advance makes it easy to stick to your clean diet. You're less likely to go to the vending machine or go to a fast food joint or just eat whatever's lying around the office that day, which I'm sure is not healthy. So I highly encourage you to prep your lunch in advance and all of the recipes that I'm gonna show you today they will stay fresh in the refrigerator for up to five days. So it's perfect for an entire work week. All the recipes are gluten-free, paleo-friendly, and some of them are also low-carb and keto-friendly. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is prepare my homemade ranch dressing because I do like to add fresh veggies to my lunch boxes and so I like to dip my fresh veggies into the ranch. Now this ranch is paleo and keto friendly and it's super easy to make. So all I'm gonna do is add some coconut cream from a can of full fat coconut milk. Then I'm gonna add some Primal Kitchen avocado mayonnaise. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that together. Next up, I'm gonna add the spices, starting with some garlic powder, onion powder, dill, a pinch of sea salt, and some fresh lemon juice. Let's go ahead and mix that together again. Now, one thing I do like to do is add a little bit of the coconut water from the can of coconut milk, and this just sort of thins it out so it's not too, too thick. Let's give that one more mix, and now I'm just gonna add the dressing to my containers, and the dressing is prepped and ready to go. Then I like to go ahead and chop up all of my veggies that I'll be using in my lunch boxes. And this week I'm gonna have some sliced bell pepper and some celery, but you know, feel free to use whatever fresh vegetables you like. But the main thing is that I do like to try to get in some raw veggies every single day. All right, let's start with my first lunch recipe, which will be my paleo salmon patties. In a mixing bowl, I'm gonna add one can of wild caught salmon. And I'm just gonna break that up a little bit with a fork. Then I'm gonna add some mashed sweet potato. Now you can also use butternut squash. I'm gonna add one egg, some coconut flour, chopped green onion, coconut aminos, Dijon mustard, garlic powder, and some sea salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna mix all that together until it's fully combined. Then I'm gonna grease a skillet with some coconut oil and separate the mixture into three equal parts and then form them into patties. And we're just gonna cook the patties on each side until they're fully heated through and slightly crispy. Once they're done, I like to let them cool off a little bit. And in my meal prep container, I'm gonna add some spinach, then add the salmon patty on top. And for the sides, I'm gonna add some fresh bell pepper slices and avocado. By the way, to keep the avocado fresh, I like to squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon juice over top, or I'll just add the avocado slices first thing in the morning. And that's it, this lunch is ready to go. Next up, I'm gonna be making my beef stuffed bell peppers. Now these are paleo and keto friendly. I'm gonna start by adding some coconut oil to a skillet over medium heat. Then I'm gonna saute some chopped purple onion until they're slightly soft and translucent. Next up, I'm gonna add some grass fed ground beef. And I'm just gonna continue to cook that until the meat is brown and fully cooked through. Once the meat is done, you wanna make sure you drain the grease, then add the beef back to the skillet. And now I'm gonna add in some sugar-free tomato sauce, garlic powder, paprika, Italian seasoning, dried basil, and some sea salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix that all together until it's fully combined. Now I'm gonna add in some chopped spinach and mix it again. I'm gonna let that cook for a few more minutes. And now to assemble our bell peppers, I've just cut the tops off of the bell peppers and removed all the seeds. And now it's just as simple as transferring the meat mixture into the bell pepper. Also, feel free to add some organic cheese to this if you want to. And now we're gonna bake the peppers at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes. To assemble my meal prep container, I've cut the bell peppers in half so that they'll fit. And on the side, I'm gonna add some celery sticks and avocado with fresh lemon juice. 
Now this one is one of my absolute favorite lunch recipes. I'm telling you, you have to try this one. My next recipe is super easy and it's my avocado egg salad. So for this one, all you need to do is mash up half of an avocado, then add a hard boiled egg and mash that up as well. I'm gonna add a second hard boiled egg and continue to mash and just mix all of that up until it's fully combined. Now I'm gonna add in some diced tomatoes, chopped cucumber, fresh lemon juice. Now this part is very important because the lemon is gonna help to preserve the avocado and some sea salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix that all up and now it's time to assemble the meal prep container. I'm gonna add some fresh spinach and then top it off with the egg salad mixture. For the sides, I'm gonna add some celery sticks and some raw almonds. I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon juice to the egg salad mixture just to make sure I preserve it as long as possible. And just like that, you have another healthy lunch prepped and ready to go. Next up, I'm gonna make some grilled chicken with roasted butternut squash. First, I'm gonna season the chicken breast with some sea salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and paprika. Now this is gonna make two servings because I'm gonna cut the chicken breast in half, but feel free to make multiple servings of this so you'll have several days worth of meals. And one trick that I like to do to keep the chicken really moist is to add a little bit of water to the dish. Now let's bake the chicken at 375 degrees Fahrenheit until it's fully cooked through. While that's baking, I'm gonna prep the butternut squash. I'm gonna be using some organic pre-cut frozen squash for convenience, but of course, feel free to use fresh squash. Let's add some avocado oil, sea salt, and pepper, and I'm gonna toss the squash just to make sure that it's all fully coated with the oil. And let's bake the squash at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes, and you wanna toss the squash about halfway through. Once it's done, I'm gonna prep the container by adding some spinach first. Then I'm gonna add half of the chicken breast that I've already cut into slices, along with some of the butternut squash. And on the side, I'm gonna add some fresh bell pepper slices, as well as some avocado. And don't forget to add a little bit of lemon juice to the avocado to preserve it. And that's it, we have another delicious lunch prepped and ready. And the last recipe, which is the easiest of them all, is my turkey club wrap. First, I'm gonna take half of an avocado and mash it up with a fork. Then I'm gonna season it with some sea salt and pepper and then mix that up. Set that aside and it's time to assemble the wrap. Now to keep this wrap low carb and paleo friendly, I will be using the Siete almond flour wrap today, but you know, feel free to use whatever kind of healthy wrap you'd like. First, let's add the mashed avocado, some spinach, tomato slices, organic turkey bacon that's already been cooked, and some organic turkey slices. Now I'm just gonna wrap it up and cut it in half. To assemble the meal prep container, I'm gonna add the wraps to the larger side. Then I'm gonna add some fresh bell pepper slices and some raw almonds. And you now have yourself five days worth of healthy, delicious meals. Okay y'all, that is it for today's video. If you're enjoying this meal prep series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any feedback or suggestions or ideas um, that you want me to incorporate into this meal prep series, be sure to comment that below. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy this type of content, subscribe below. Be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.